these awesome kindergarten students who get to be on the news because they traded in their PBIS points. Good morning, Dolphin Dolphins. My name's Mishka. My name's Yvonne. And we're from Miss Miskis' class. Good morning, Dolphin Dolphins. Today is Friday, March 17th. My name is Aria. Welcome to today's edition of the Morning yep. News. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. My I pledge of allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now pause for a brief moment of quiet reflection. During the moment of quiet reflection, remember our school-wide expectations. Respect your rule five. Rule four and five are always have the materials to help you learn. Stay on task. Have fun learning. Choices are popcorn, shrimp, macaroni, cheese, macaroni, and cheese, cheese pizza, turkey, and cheese wrap, ashwood fruit mix, ashwood fresh fruit, carrot, cucumber, and cherry tomato, steamed broccoli. comes up but never comes down. What? Your A! <laughs> <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Tick. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> Hi! Okay. Today we'll be asking use of a few questions about Valentine's Day. Okay. What is the point about Valentine's Day? Um, I think Valentine's Day was invented a long time ago and it honors St. Valentine, and the point is to show people that you love them and love and friendship. Mm -hmm. um, what can you bring um, for, your, for, your, for your classmates? Okay, for your holiday Valentine's party, you can bring prepackaged food, not homemade food, due to allergies. So mm -hmm. just make sure your family brings prepackaged food. Okay. okay. Well, have fun tomorrow. Hi, we're going to have an author visit for 4th and 5th grade on Monday, March 20th. What is the author's name and what did she write? Um, her name is Jennifer Gennari and she wrote this book called Muffled. It's a Georgia Children's Book Award nominee for this year. What is the book about? It is about a 10-year-old girl named Amelia copes with her noise sensitivity. Oh, my friend actually has that book and he said that it's actually a really good book. So we'll all be looking forward to it. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to read at least a portion or the whole book before she comes on March 20th, and you'll have some good questions that you can ask her. Okay, thanks okay. a lot. Lizzie, you're welcome. Ali said it's it's St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day! Did you know that Sam Rock was considered a sacred plant? Eating corned beef and got cabbage is a St. Patrick's Day tradition. The leprechaun story says capturing the small creatures will secure a wee bit of luck in the addition of three wishes. On this day, there's World Sleep Day, Red Nose Day, National Corned Beef and Cabbage Day, and many more. World Sleep Day is an annual event to raise awareness of importance of sleep. Also, Red Nose Day is an 
ongoing campaign to the end to end children poverty throughout the world. In addition, National Corn Day, Corn Beef and Cabbage Day is a holiday that usually celebrated with St. Patrick's Day. On this day, people eat corned beef and cabbage to celebrate. Teachers, as you take pictures of students learning, make sure to tweet them out with Dolphin ES. That's it for the Dolphin News Flash today, Dolphins. Have a fantastic and flawless and slaytastic Friday. Bye! Happy